So I like to do quick short videos on how to grow quality vegetables on the cheap. It cracks me up because many people get sucked into the over-commercialized plant and vegetable market. I want to uh, explain myself. If you were to buy French fingerling starts online, and these are organic by the way, they may charge you up to 10 or $20 for just four or five or six of them, which is so funny. Even at Home Depot and the larger places, they'll charge you a great deal of money for something you can buy at the grocery store. I found these organic French fingerling tomato potatoes at a grocery outlet. And I got this whole bag for $3. And there's several dozen in here. 1.5 pound bag. And so for $3, I'm going to take all of these and plant them. And then I'm going to have probably 10 times these amount or more, depending how well they do by the end of the season. Planting potatoes is really easy. I dug a shallow trench in this clay soil. You can see I started some other potatoes up here already. I'm going to toss these in, spacing them about 12 inches apart from each other. And then I'm going to just fill over the top of it with leaf litter and straw. So keeping the soil really, really light. And that way, by keeping the soil really light, the potatoes will be able to grow easier because they won't have to fight and push through uh, a hard clay or a compacted soil. And another example of buying inexpensive vegetables at the grocery store to, to grow and to propagate, you can buy garlic. Now, if you live in California, believe it or not, you actually have to buy California garlic because it's a climate thing. But look at these beautiful garlic greens. They're so tender and so delicious. So all you do, you take the entire garlic bulb and plant it in the ground two or three inches down, compact the soil, and literally within a week, they start growing. And instead of eating the garlic every day like fresh chives, you can chop down these delicious tender shoots and uh, either eat them fresh in salads or stir fry them into anything from eggs to uh, Asian style stir fry. These celery plants, literally the bottom of your celery, if you, when you cut it off, you can put it into the ground and the celery plant will grow back from that. Celery plants are very strong and if you allow them to seed, they will spread their seeds all over the garden. And you will have celery for years and tons of celery plants to share with friends. You can also buy uh, ginger root, depending where you live in the country. About anywhere during the summertime you could grow it uh, if you live in the, the northern part. If you live in the more southern part, you pretty, pretty much grow it almost year round. Uh, the organic ginger root will grow in ginger root will grow into a beautiful plant. I also scored that very inexpensively at grocery outlet the other day. So if you have any questions about growing things on the cheap or trying to grow things from the bottom of the roots, like when you chop off the bottom of a green onion or a red onion or any onion, you know that little root part that you throw away? Well, it grows. And then you can eat the green part. So you can see at the end of the garden here, I have a bunch of all these onion greens came from the bottoms that most people just chop off and throw away. You can ask friends and family members to save the bottoms of their vegetables that they throw away or bad potatoes or what have you. And you, it's just amazing how you can supplement and grow a garden for practically nothing just off of what other people throw away or just from being clever. Okay, that's my tip for the day. Let me know what you think and uh, try some of these things out and get back to me and let me know how they worked for you. Take care of each other. Have an awesome day.